We all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Carmelita! Huh? Sly! No! Two rats in one trap! I knew you could not resist, Gooper! You are so predictable! Oh yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail! Yes, yes, and now come the big threats from the little man. As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage La Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, Bentley son. Attention, kitchen. The indicate preparation. And no, I do not want another cheese cake.
Fox is gearing up for something. We need to hurry. Keep moving, Ryuichi. These traps are almost too easy for a ninja. If the problem has a solution, then worrying is pointless. It will be solved. field shift centered on you yes i sense it is my time to go it has been an honor meeting all of you sayonara it's working the temporal abnormality is correcting itself bob we need you to get salim's cave Why do you persist in playing a game which you have already lost? You'll never win the paradox! But it's already won! This is the surprising! Security, I want this ship secured now! Any more slip-ups and there will be no cheese rations for a month! <laughs> I would entrust this to no other! Oh, again with the climbing? Get going, Salim! We've got some planning to do! Engineering, get me more power! I need to move up this schedule. What are you up to, the Paradox? Salim, no time for napping! We need to step it up!
I mean. How nice. All this climbing is going to turn me into a monkey. I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right, now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cane. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. Yes! Do hurry, Cooper! You don't want to miss the final act! Stations. More unto the breach go I. Fare thee well, you all! Poor vermin, dead ahead! Structural. 
Structural integrity failing. Attention. Initiate a fail-safe backup in three, two, backup failing. Danger. Timeline stabilizers at 18%. appear to be on some kind of timer. You better move it. Uh-huh. That's right. The kid is back in business. Danger. Hurry, Tennessee. It's all up to you now. I'm sorry, Cooper. I can't wait any longer. Your friends die now. Attention. the old crack shot here. Yep. All right. I guess break time is over. It is too late, Cooper. Your legacy ends tonight. <laughs> well, looks like our goose ain't cooked yet. whom I am thinking, to be together, forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this, my marvelous contraption, the time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure. Is very much like the time machine, though, with one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon, free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, La Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Cooper, you filthy vermin! Woo wee! Cut that closer than a $10 shave! Breaking my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! No! Take on Alita and get off this thing! We all need to leave right now! That maniac just tore a hole in time space! I need to finish this fight here and now, for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second. Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go. Sly, I... I know. Me too. Come, Cooper. I will teach you to fight like a gentleman. And how would you know? I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last, after I cut the rest of you to pieces! Wow. 
get crushed? What? Go. 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 She did! <laughs> If I only break your neck. Come on. I'm waiting for you. Why don't you just get yeah. And I'll make it painless. Why don't you come over here and take it? After the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made! You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. I tire of this charade, Cooper. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. I detest you. The very sight of you fills me with rage. I thought we were going to be pals. Now, now, think of your blood pressure, Cyril. This is not right. My plan was perfect. Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Yes, please, help me. Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. As I said! So predictable. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly or that cursed blip. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. 
Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Phoebus Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelina returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest, even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Ryoichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as Egg Thief Extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. 
Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globe-trotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, since he's going to be living there for a very long time. <laughs>